The world is ever-evolving and we absorb new technology into our daily lives without batting an eye. But the truth is, these scientific solutions are not just a bunch of old parts used in a new way. They are new material advancements so incredible that they are offering us a cleaner, more efficient, safer way to live. This isn't just reinventing the wheel, this is scrapping the whole car for a hovercraft. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Here at Alux, we like to keep you in the know of the latest and greatest, and this list is reimagining the world. These are 15 materials that are literally changing the way we live. Number 1. Newspaper Wood Turning plastic into wood is great in principle, but the melting process uses lots of fossil fuels and releases dangerous fumes. Another waste product that can be turned into a timber substitute is newspaper wood. It's formed by coating newspaper sheets in glue and tightly rolling them into logs. The glue doesn't need to be tough stuff and is solvent and plasticizer free. Once dry, the newspaper log can be processed just like a wooden log. Cutting, milling, sanding, and finishing with varnish or paint are all possible just like with regular wood. Sure, it's not ready to be part of a structure, but it's a great addition to tabletops or wall cladding. Number 2. Oxetics Oxetics aren't one particular material, but rather a structure of a material. Oxetics can be single molecules, crystals, or a particular structure of macroscopic matter. What makes them incredible is that when they stretch, instead of becoming thinner, like a rubber band, they become thicker. This is great for high energy absorption and fracture resistance. The application is endless, from body armor to impact resistant rubber in shoes that expands in size as your foot hits the tarmac. No vibration gloves, packing materials, and anything that needs shock absorbing qualities benefits from this discovery. As scientists find new ways to use it, it offers great solutions to age old problems. Number 3. Nickel Molybdenum Zinc Sure, the name isn't so catchy, but what if we told you it's the material needed to make a robot leaves an affordable reality? Let's break it down a bit. So for some time there's been an idea to create artificial leaves. Their job would be to split water into hydrogen and oxygen to create clean energy. But until the arrival of nickel molybdenum zinc, you needed expensive materials like platinum for this to work. This new zinc and nickel based material is about to make electric fuel, a complete game changer in clean energy. Number 4. Self-Healing Materials these materials are in a class of their own. A whole host of materials have been designed to intrinsically correct damage when it occurs. In other words, self-heal the way a lizard grows its tail back. Ceramics, polymers, and more have been designed with the ability to heal themselves to reduce degrading. The applications are endless, but imagine being able to prevent material failures to parts and industrial machinery to ensure a longer lifetime of machines and less downtime for repairs. Number 5. Aluminum Oxynitride This material is three times stronger than steel, but also completely transparent. It's often referred to as transparent aluminum, but it's not exactly right. It's actually ceramic composed of oxygen, nitrogen, and aluminum. It'll allow you to build skyscrapers that are completely transparent or see-through airplanes. Currently, it costs a fortune to produce, but with all the upcoming technology, the hope is the price will come down and it'll become more affordable because the sky's the limit for how it could be used. Number 6. Cactus Leather If we told you your next designer leather handbag could come from a cactus, you would probably ask us what cactus we've been eating. But truth is, two Mexican farmers have turned the entire leather industry on its head. With the leaves of a cactus called deserto and a completely harm-free chemical process, they've been able to produce a leather that is hard to tell apart from the real thing. They launched their product in October 2019 in Milan, and since then it's taken off. It avoids all the negatives of animal skin leather, like animal harm, the use of lots of water and harmful chemicals to process that pollute the surrounding areas. Animal leather is also not biodegradable, whereas cactus leather is. And Aluxers, if knowing where waste goes and how it's managed is important to you, then you'll like this video. Check it out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 7. Edible Plastic 
Uoho is the water bottle of the future, also known as an edible water blob. It's a great way to get water on the run without adding any litter to the environment. The blob is made from seaweed and plants and encases water in a perfect clear sphere. Consumers can drink their water and then eat the container, which can be flavored and is reminiscent of Jello sweets. The best part is that even if you don't eat the outside container, it will biodegrade the same as fruit and be one with Mother Nature in four to six weeks. And if non-recyclable packaging bothers you, stick around until the end to see how you can put a stop to ever having to throw anything in the bin ever again. Number 8. Phobic Materials We're not talking arachnophobes here, but rather two types of phobic materials that are changing the game. The first is superhydrophobic materials, which repel liquids when applied to any material. The coating literally makes water form droplets and roll away. It makes air travel safer by preventing ice accumulation on planes or in making electronics completely waterproof. The next in the category is super omniphobic materials that can coat any material and repel fluids of any kind. The super omniphobic coatings will make any fluid literally bounce off the surface, using a method of trapping pockets of air between the fluid and the surface. Even highly corrosive fluids like acid bounce right off. When applied to the whole object and then submerged and left for two months, the object came out completely bone dry. It can be used in everything from protecting gadgets to reducing the drag of water on boats. Number 9. Mushroom Walls Mushrooms might just be the next big thing in insulation. Designers are growing packing material and wall insulation from mycelium. Mycelium is a bacteria that naturally grows in rotting plant material. When you place mycelium in a mold, they'll grow to fill up the shape in a couple of days. To stop them, you just need to bake them. What's left is a perfect and organic shape that can be used for packaging or insulating boards. It is fully biodegradable and far safer than the toxic traditional materials like asbestos. Number 10. Cloth Tiles Clothing is being recycled in new and wonderful ways, but this has to be one of the best we've heard of. Once all the solid parts like buttons and zippers are removed, the remaining fabric is shredded finely into a fluffy fleece. This is treated with a chemical to bind it together and then compressed under heat to create solid panels or tiles. Colors are combined to create textures and colors that resemble ceramic, stone, or wood. They can be used for interior, floor, or wall tiles, and they're suitable for load-bearing, so work well in high-traffic areas. Who knows, the sweater you're wearing could one day be a kitchen backsplash. Number 11. Corn Plastic You might have heard of corn plastic. It's been around for 20 years already, but more recently only became commercially viable. Originally, it cost about $200 to make a pound of corn plastic, also known as PLA, but now it costs less than $1 a pound. The benefits are amazing. It generates 68% less greenhouse gases than PET plastics. It also contains no toxins, and when you're finished using it, it can be composted. But don't be fooled, this means composting in a controlled compost environment, not your backyard compost heap. Semantics aside, it does offer a safe alternative to our dependence on petroleum-based plastics. Plastics. Number 12. Aerogel Aerogel is essentially 98.2% empty space, so what is it? It's a gel where the liquid part has been replaced with gas. It's also known as frozen smoke, solid smoke, solid cloud, or solid air. So basically, we aren't that much closer to knowing what it is, but what it does is support a lot of weight. It's lightweight in itself and is a great thermal insulator. It's still expensive, but used in spacesuits and spacecrafts, and in the future, it's expected to be used in drug delivery systems, supercapacitors, and military wear. Number 13. Hemp Bioleather If you thought cactus leather was cool, well, meet Hemp Bioleather. Made from the waste fiber of residue hemp, this natural material is another 100% leather-like alternative to animal leather. It requires no chemicals, uses far less water, and is energy efficient in its manufacturing. Hemp is also a really great crop because it regenerates and restores land instead of degrading it, like many natural farming practices do. Move over, animal leather, there is a new sheriff in town. Number 14. Graphene Move over, Mother Teresa, there is a new miracle worker in town. Graphene is being described as the answer to all of our questions. It's an allotrope of carbon that is 10 times as strong as steel, but only one atom thick. 
That means that one square meter sheet weighs less than a gram. Its uses include but are not limited to electronics, low-cost solar cells and display screens, battery efficiency, ultracapacitors, and chemical sensors. In the medical field, it's being developed for use in tissue engineering and drug delivery. Scientists are finding ways to use it to solve the world's water shortage problems as an ideal fit in water filtration and desalination techniques. You can look forward to graphene screens making bendy touchscreens and paper-thin HDTVs pretty soon. Number 15. Silicene Silicon is long thought to have been one of the substances that allowed us to advance as a human race. Silicene is silicon's prodigy, in one of those cases where the student becomes the master. It's made by condensing silicon vapor into a silver plate. This method makes it possible to create a sheet of silicon that is just one atom thick, or thin as it were. This miracle sheet can be used in all kinds of applications. It rivals graphene by being more affordable and easier to integrate into smaller and cheaper electronics that use silicon chip production lines. And Luxers, here we are at the end. Can you think of any brilliant uses for any of these materials listed? What do you think is the biggest game changer on the list? Let us know in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. You might feel like the world is already inundated with too many materials, but this is a novel way of getting rid of non-recyclable materials and using them to create new items. It's called an eco-brick, and you can make them at home. Using a 2-liter plastic drink bottle, you can reduce your impact on the environment dramatically. Eco-bricks are used in all kinds of construction and furniture products, and they require people like you and I to make them with our daily non-recyclable trash. All you need to do is start filling a cool drink bottle tightly with crisp packets, foil, plastic packages, and anything else you can find. As long as it's clean and dry, you can cram it in there. Pack it in and push it down with a stick until your eco brick is solid enough that you can't really squeeze it anymore. Then check out all the inspiring things you can do with your eco bricks on the charity website ecobricks.org. They have step by step instructions on how to get started, and there are lots of eco brick collection points all around the world. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.